What's up guys? This is Sim with Vengeance and the boys from Birmingham are back with another UAB Dynasty video today. The boys from Birmingham. I like that ring. It has a nice ring to it. The boys from Birmingham. I like, I actually really do like that. I'm gonna write that down, Sim. You're coming up with great ideas now. The boys from Birmingham. Anyway, today we are finally returned home from our trips on the West Coast. Two of them in California, one in Hawaii. Where we come out with averaging over 63 points, almost 63 points per game in the in those contests. But today we return home to take on the 4-1 Texas Tech Red Razors. And it's finally nice to have a home game. We've had three three road games in a row. It's it's it is nice to come home and get some home cooking. It's been too long, man. We need to come back and we need to show the home crowd that we are tested and we are ready to kick some booty. So, anyway, now let's take a look at the schools that are we are fighting for against. Uh, looks like Miami's. We're catching up to Miami, which is good because Bobby Williams is going to be a nice addition to this team. Nice, nice athlete there to come to the squad. Derek Vickers, we got to keep working. We got to stay in stride. Otherwise, we're going to lose momentum, and we we would like to have this guy in our team for sure. Um, Looks like we're going to get Ray Dorch. He's going to commit like literally probably next week. Um, JD Branch, we made the cut. We just need to blow out um, Clemson out of the water and we'll be set. Um, we're catching up here with Dwayne The Rock Johnson after a couple of weeks where we thought we, we, may, we may have lost some momentum, but we, we got it all back. Brent Robinson, where he's going to commit next week. Um, we're catching up here with Mike Holton. Uh, Brett... Ben Hill, we could. We're working on him. Uh, we're not getting so. We're not getting too much momentum here from Jared Carter, uh, or another Jared Carter. There's two Jared Carters. I just realized this. Um, Demetrius Harris, we're catching. We're, we're breaking up a little bit there. We're we're starting to take the lead and a little bit more. Tony Holmes, we made the cut and it looks like Mississippi State's trying to keep themselves alive. Um, Michael Boyd. Um, he, it looks like here we could just we could walk away with that one pretty easily. I'm not worried about TJ Palmer. Um, we got a lot of good wide receivers as is, but that pretty much is going to look like the rest of recruiting as we continue to show dominance in that area. And another thing we continue to show dominance in is not only in our victories in our recruiting, but in the top 25. Obviously, we're number one in the country. And there's a big shakeup in the top 25 as far as who's in and who's out. Um, we are obviously number one. Virginia, number two. Notice that I said it's Virginia, not Stanford. Uh, Miami, number three. Florida, number four. South Carolina, number five. Number six is Texas. They jumped up nine spots. And Florida jumped up seven spots. And they even got a first place vote in there. Uh, USC at number seven. Number eight is Stanford after they drop down after a loss to uh, Washington at home. Um, number nine is Georgia Tech. Number 10 is Georgia. So that's going to be an in interesting rivalry game coming later on in the year. Number 11 is California. They came back and finally bounced back and won like they should. Um, I think they just had a two rough games in a row. Uh, California's a good squad, man. They really are. Uh, number 12 is Oklahoma or yeah, Oklahoma. Number 13 is Florida State. They really didn't gain any, gain or lose anything. Then again, they didn't play a game last week. Number 14 is Auburn. Number 15 is Alabama after they take a harsh loss to Georgia on the road. And it gets pretty it doesn't get any easier with Arkansas coming to town. Uh, number 16 is Michigan, number 17 Old Miss, number 18 is Tennessee, number 19 Texas A&M. Number 20 is Washington. Number 21, Virginia Tech. Number 22 is Air Force. Number 23 is Texas Christian. Number 24, Northern Illinois. Interesting team in the top 25, NIU. And number 25 is Clemson. Clemson 3-3. Three three. They've had three tough losses. Um, I think all three of those losses are to ranked teams. Um, no, actually, no. I stand corrected. Uh, two of them to quality opponents. This one, not so much. Um, they did beat another ranked team on top of it um, with beating Virginia Tech, but it doesn't get any easier against Miami, and they do face Florida State. Uh, so it doesn't look like they're going to have an, much of an easier schedule. Oh, I forgot to check the receiving votes. Whoopsies. Mm, 
more info, not that. Receiving votes go to Nebraska, Oregon, Bowling Green, Baylor, Northwestern, and BYU. Navy and Pittsburgh dropped out. Happens to the best of them. And to the Heisman watch. Your boy Wesley Thompson is finally getting respect. He finally got in. Will, will we do enough to win him the Heisman, though, in his swan song of his only season here at UAB? Or as, a, as the full-time starter, that is. Anyway, I feel kind of bad that he's not going to like break records because this guy is just incredible. He's only missed 18 passes this entire year. He's 100 for 118 yards. I'll tell you his stats. I mean, overall, his touchdown to interception ratio is actually pretty incredible. Uh, 77 to 14. But you look at, you know, the, the role he's played every year since he's been here, it's been kind of diminished. And you feel kind of bad for him because he's like, you know, he's really good. 60, his completion percentage has gone up each year dramatically. Well, besides from year one to year two. But from year three, two to year three, it went up 8%. And then it went up 10% in year three to year four. And, you know, you feel kind of bad for him because, you know, he's that good of a quarterback. Um, hasn't had the opportunities throughout the years, but he has been something else. And I don't know if he's going to break any all-time records, but he's going to be close. I mean, his throw power and throw accuracy are off the charts. I've never seen anything like it, guys. He is just amazing. I mean, obviously, he kind of deserves it. So, I mean, he's not going to break. I don't think he's going to break any school records. School record. Justin Kelly pretty much owns all of these. And he always will, I feel like. Um, maybe not. The, I don't know. He might. This might be in jeopardy. This might. This one in particular might be in jeopardy. Um, this is pretty safe. This is pretty safe. Uh, this is also pretty safe. This is also pretty safe. And this one I don't know yet the season records are they they're they're in jap they they could be in trouble uh but we'll see um receiving records I think I've broken all of the record the school records at this point by at least somebody Frank Clement owns most of the receiving records um Matt Weiss has the and Donald Hills you guys remember those guys um, they also own a good majority of the receiving records as well. Defensively, uh, Thomas Mueller, 32 interceptions in a career. Robert Roth, four interceptions in a game. Heath Brown, 15 interceptions in a season. Payne, Parsons, and Payne again with the sacks records. Um, rushing totals. Rushing touchdowns goes to Justin Kelly. Aaron Hardy, seven touchdowns in a game. Kenny Wright, 25 touchdowns in a season. Aaron Hardy, Aaron Hardy, Aaron Hardy. Yeah, I've broken every record, every school record in this dynasty. That's pretty incredible if you ask me. But then again, I guess they don't really have that my high of a standard. So that really doesn't really all surprise me all that much. But will he break a – will Wesley Thompson break a school record? I don't know. I think this game will be a good halfway point to, to determine whether he is or not. But he's got a tall hill to climb, and Justin Kelly was no pushover. So anyway, we're going to take on Texas Tech. I will see you guys on the field. And we are underway here from Birmingham as we are about to receive that kickoff. Uh-oh. Uh, we got past the 20 this time, so that's always good. Wesley Thompson. Let's see what he does today, man. It's going to be incredible to watch. Are they going to play him tight or are they going to play back? I think they're going to play back. Oh, that was a bad pass. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right, no big deal. I got that much confidence in my offense. Oh, oh my God, he caught it. Are you serious? <laughs> ben Smith, you are out of your mind. Wow. <laughs> this would be the perfect opportunity to get a touchdown on this play. 
Ben Smith, touchdown! This guy's a touchdown machine. Ben Smith all day. I mean, c come on. Defense is, oh man, we've been waiting for this home cooking, man. Oh my god, the home cooking. Oh, it feels so good to be home. Here on third. So I don't think our kicker's got the boot. Boop! Oh, so juicy, so delicious. Delicious and nutritious. I smell touchdown. Are you? Who is blocking? Seriously, come on, block! Should not be that hard. I'll take a ten nothing lead, but well, he got the first. Caleb Phillips thinks he's Cam Newton right now. I don't know why. What gives him this kind of? feeling but it's not gonna work boink how did it not get intercepted that's the real question highest rated offense highest rated offensive line yet they're playing like complete garbage today it's absolutely beautiful I can't get anything my offensive line can't block playing Pretty solid. He didn't get it. He's short. Let me stop this. Well, there we go. First down. I like that play. Nice little tone setter. He's been struggling today, man. He's only 6 for 11. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice game by Jermaine McAfee. First down again. Yeah, we're getting into a rhythm. Let's get into that rhythm that we want. Bwah! Touchdown! Dylan Sears. He will not be denied. What are they doing bringing out the set and on third down? I don't know. What are they doing? They're one of the loudest crowds in the country and they are on their feet. Time out. They tried to run it again on third down. Like, what are they doing? Care about going deep on this play. Oh my God, this is going to be a jump ball and he caught it. Oh God. Wesley's finally getting into a passing completion groove. That's all that matters. Boink. Touchdown again. Evan Thornton. Three touchdowns in the first half. We're finally getting to that offensive group we've been you wanting to get into. You made a big uh-oh. 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 Nope. <laughs> You're lucky it's not intercepted. That's all I got to say. This QB's on fire. Ben Smith is on fire. Oh, my God. Keep going. <laughs> 50 yards. Touchdown, Blazers. Good Lord. Just stop. Ben Smith is just a goat. Oh no. <laughs> Last line of defense. He was stumbling, but no no cigar button. Texas Tech only has 58 total yards. Oh, Jacob Ingram. Give me it. There you go. 58 total. Second down. Oh, beautiful. Blop. 22 yards on that one. See, there you go. That's what happens when you just sacrifice a little to get a lot. Your losses. You just never know what could happen. Jermaine McAfee, touchdown. On the screen pass. 
Five touchdown passes on screen. Almost intercepted. And NC State's about to beat number two Virginia. Are they really about to send a blitz? Oh my god, he got behind the defense! Oh no! Just at the right time, he gets behind him. Oh my goodness. Stop! Touchdown, Jason Henley. We take those. In the fourth quarter. Nope. They continue to disappoint. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Touchdown. There we go. And that is your ball game. Another shutout. Back to back shutouts. For the first time in Dynasty history, or in this, at least in this Dynasty, I don't know if I've ever done that before, back-to-back -back shutouts. But our defense has been so dominant, so good. Offense has been lighting up the scoreboard. Wesley Thompson looking like a uh, Heisman Trophy candidate every single time he graces the field. 52-0 is your final score. Next week, I think we take on Florida or something. I'm not 100% sure, but... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, subscribe for more content like this. Uh, it's been a pleasure, of course, while playing these games, of course. I like this dynasty. The, the boys from Birmingham are kicking butt. Until next time, peace out.